Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us from um, John, KE0RWV. And he lives in a homeowner association controlled community, and he would like to know if he can load up his rain gutter and use that as an antenna. The answer is absolutely yes, you can. However, there are a few things to take into account. So let's take a look at the whiteboard here. Now you've got a house here, um, you know, and the rain gutter is around, it depends on where you live and so on, whether the rain gutter is all the way around the house. And there are downspouts at different places, okay, to get the water away from the house. Now the problem with these, oft times you get very long pieces of gutter that are made of one piece, but when you get to the corners, you're always dealing with um, a separate piece, to pull it in for the corner and go down like that. Now, the problem with this aluminum is it's designed to be sort of watertight, but um, not certainly not electrically tight. So what you're going to need to do is whenever there's a piece, a split in the gutter here, you need to go get a little wire and put, um, you can put a bolt through, I would suggest like number four or number six hardware, a bolt uh, through and here's your bolt. And then right here, you want to put um, a star washer. Now a star washer has little scratchy things on it so that when you bolt it down tight, when you bolt it down tight, you're gonna put your wire out here. When you bolt it down tight, it makes good electrical contact. And then you're going to jumper all these connections so that you include every piece all the way around so that it's all very solidly electrically uh, the right thing. So this is a star washer. Okay, you can get these at Home Depot or Lowe's. I recommend this hardware because it's smaller, but um, if you want to go whole hog with quarter inch, far be it from me to say no. I prefer quarter inch myself, it's a lot easier to deal with. But you're gonna to need to create some jumpers. I would suggest that you take your jumpers and attach to them an automotive connection like this. These are crimped on, but then go ahead and solder it too, so that it definitely will make contact. And then that comes, this comes right up here and is connected through. And of course, there's a bolt on the other side. Every so often, every six months or so, you're going to need to go around the house and tighten all these, um, loosen and tighten them so that they make good electrical contact. Now, how do you feed it? Well, remember that the downspout is part of your antenna, okay? And you want to kind of keep it so children, pets, and so on can't touch these because they're RF hot. Now, you're going to feed this as a, a vertical, um, or if you want to feed it right up here, uh, feed it as, um, you know, just a regular antenna. Put um, something down here to an antenna tuner. I would recommend you do some coax or something so it thinks it's dealing with a loop rather than with a top-loaded vertical. You're going to need a tuner. The tuner ideally would be the kind of tuner you can put right at the feed location and then attach to ground. Uh, you do have a ground rod there, right? And uh, feed it that way. Or if you just want to put one connection of your uh, window line to here and the other connection to uh, ground over here, so on. 
that will help too. Now one of the problems you're going to have is the impedance of this thing could be really wild. And so you'll constantly be having to tune. You'll probably pick your favorite frequencies and so on. But this antenna will work on all bands with an external wide range tuner, like one of the MFJ or L L LDG tuners, you can make this thing really work. So yes, you can load the gutters. Do be aware of the safety precautions near the downspouts. Okay, um, and good luck with it. I think it'll work. So there you have it. I'd like to give a special thanks to Mark Carawan, one of my patrons. Please go to patreon.com slash ke0og to become a patron yourself. You can uh, sign up for any amount per month that you like from $2 on up. And uh, many join some of the higher tiers. Or if you prefer just uh, one time something, you can go to uh, ke0og.net slash tip hyphen jar. And that will give you an opportunity to do a single uh, donation, not donation. We can't use the word donation, can we? I'm not a not-for-profit not agency. I pay taxes on all of this. So it's support is what I call it. So thank you very much for your support. And until we next meet, 73.